Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, very different week this week. Uh, uh, having a lovely time in uh, Lagomira and um, decided to uh, explore the whole island and uh, uh, enjoy the beauty of the place, which is, which is really cool. So uh, I hope you enjoy watching uh, this week, okay? So I'm just back from town, from in there, and uh, the outboard engine cut out. So I have the carburetor off it. I'm good with engines. I, I drove motorbikes for years and years, and uh, obsessed with them actually. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, I had to row in and row back. So uh, hopefully, hopefully it's just dirt in the carburetor and dirty. See, I have the carb stripped off. And uh, hopefully I can uh, clean. So I got the carb off, and uh, I got the jets out. It looks very clean, but it's probably this jet is blocked, and I got carb cleaner. So anyway, I've made myself a bench here, and it's a nice day. And hopefully I get it sorted, and I'll have to check the tank as well in case the tank is filthy. But it shouldn't be. It's a new engine and tank. Reasonably new, a year old, I think. Anyway, it's a nice uh, bench I have here today, but a nice view. The cliffs. Uh, this little beach here has uh, cave dwellers as well, and people living there. I see them in the morning and the evening. It's a beautiful coast. It's a beautiful bay, in fact. And I had a... A Spanish guy came out yesterday in a kayak and made a cup of coffee and he was telling me that this is like a hostel and you could drive there, you can see the cars that are stuck there now because of this landslide. So the road is blocked and they can't get their cars back and they have to walk along the shore now to get in and out at low tide apparently. So I got all the local history yesterday. So it's a busy anchorage, there's about 20 odd boats here and it's a long row into Valley Grand Ray, the Valley of the Kings. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully I get the engine sorted soon. Seems clear. So I have it back on now, just got to connect up a few bits and pieces and hopefully uh, it's fixed. Hopefully we're back in business. No parts left over is always a good sign. <laughs> so, to be or not to be. <laughs> Brilliant. Valley Grand Ray uh, in Lugomira. Valley Grand Ray is uh, the, uh, the Valley of the King. Uh, it's probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Uh, it was lovely to see that couple dancing on the street, uh, you know. Uh, and then out of the blue, I just see this huge ray uh, swimming along in the harbour. Uh, what a magnificent sight to, to, to see and to witness. Uh, the whole island, if, if anybody hasn't been here, it's definitely worth a visit. It's very laid back, very... Um, Lovely culture, lovely, um, it's just yeah, beautiful people. It's a really, really lovely island. When you come from Ireland, it's definitely unusual to see bananas growing on trees. <laughs> beautiful. So I've been walking for about a half an hour to get to a market that a, a Spanish guy had told me about that came and visited the boat. But look at this for uh, the viaduct. There must be some flow of water there when the, when the uh, 
the mountains filled with rain. So I'm looking forward to this market. Uh, a friend of mine, Fish, came out to the to the boat and we had a coffee and he told me about the market because he makes jewellery and sells it. And so I'm here now anyway. It should be fun. That looks cool. All local produce and jewellery. And... I don't know, I love markets. Hola Fish. Hola, hola. Como estas amigo? Muy bien. Bienvenidos. <laughs> Beautiful store. Look at all this. Fish made all this stuff himself. Leather. And... Really nice. Mm. It's the old sailing ship. And the new. <laughs> Don't often see two old ships. Look at this guy. So, today I decided to do something completely different. I'll probably leave La Gomera in a day or two and get sailing again. But everybody had been telling me about these magnificent uh, forests and hikes. So I actually rented a car really cheaply. A small little Fiat Bambino. <laughs> and I'm on the wrong side of the road. So it's good fun. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you some of the island today as I'm going around. Uh, but it's it's already breathtaking. This is Valley del Rey, Valley Gran Rey, sorry, uh, which translates to Valley of the King. So I'm hoping to get to San Sebastian and see the last church. I'm hoping to get to this beautiful old forest and have a look at that, and maybe San Sebastian. It was Christopher Columbus's last stop before he crossed to discover the Americas. So that'd be interesting for me as a sailor. Uh, so anyway, it's it's something very, very different than I would normally do. And it was really cheap to rent a car. It was like 30, 30 euro, I think, for the day. And I'd give it back with some petrol. So, not bad. Top of the world, ma. Look at this. God, I, I adore being at sea. <coughs> As you all probably know. <laughs> but by God, I often miss the trees. So beautiful so green up here and it's cool as well. I brought warm clothes too. But that's magnificent. What a beautiful island. How beautiful. I'd say the fairies live here somehow. So cool, so peaceful. If you're into hiking, this is absolutely the place. And, and because we're up so high, the temperature is cooler. And uh, you can easily veer off the paths if you want. It's, it's open enough to go exploring and there I have done already. It's beautiful. It's nicer than the trail actually. Wow, so privileged to be able to see this. I'm so glad I did before I left. only one regret today <laughs> I should have got a motorbike these roads are just incredible but uh, I did not expect uh, to see so so much green and so much beauty so this is what I got today it's probably about the same size as a motorbike engine <laughs> I'm starting to come back down the other side now of the island and I just stopped here for a smoke actually and look at this working field where they would have planted and the steps right down to the water. And they're beautiful. I wonder am I allowed down there. They say ask forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful? working fields, I suppose, at one time. What a lovely building. I'm in San Sebastian, the capital. And of course, I'm going to have to walk down and have a look at the marina. <laughs> With my obsession for boats. It's a really nice marina. I stopped here because this boat is just beautiful. 
I don't know what she is, an SNS or something, or I don't know. But uh, so it's nice to see this marina if I ever do come back. I won't be coming here this time, but it's just nice to get the lay of the land and see things. And it's uh, very well sheltered, very well protected. Uh, lovely marina. And a lovely town, actually. San Sebastian is a lovely town. Today's a public holiday. It's, the, uh, it's a, a religious holiday, actually. I think it's All Saints Day. But I'm walking up here because I'm looking for the Church of the Assumption, where apparently Christopher Columbus prayed before he left here to discover the Americas. And there's a lot of history here with this Christopher Columbus. So it's nice. So this is it. I don't often get ashore and do things like this, but I'm enjoying this and uh, it's very different than what I normally do. And it's a shame not to see these places and explore this history as I'm here. I might never be in, in La Gomera again, I don't know. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna have a look. beautiful beach here in San Sebastian. I really like this place. Uh, the only problem is I can't afford marinas because unless I really had to go into a marina to repair something but it seems really nice here. Beautiful town, beautiful surroundings. I wonder would I get away with anchoring outside around the headland there. As I said earlier ask uh, forgiveness not permission. <laughs> Be nice there. It's a really, I really like the place and if I do come back I would definitely consider coming in here for a night or two. So I'm back on Waxwing and because I had the car which was such a novelty I got a good few bags of groceries, two drums of diesel, three jars of water. I carry the water only as an emergency in case I ever did need it but it's very handy. And what a beautiful day that was. Fantastic day. So look at this beautiful ship that just came in. Listen to the engine and that. Wow. That's a sight you don't see too often. Show me how Beautiful Claudia. You are the one, yeah. I want I want to reconcile the violence of your heart. I want to satisfy the dead and the burden. I want to exercise the demons from your body. I love you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Life is good. Listen to Claudia singing. Oh my god. This day could not get any better. Ah, muy buen. Muchas gracias. Thank you. How's everything up there? Nice! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything looking good? I think so. <laughs> uh, good girl. You can see some strangers, some pirate ship or something? Yeah, about there. <laughs> uh, can you see the Capo Verde? Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> oh, I see La Gomera. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, we know where we are then. 
So uh, a very different video this week. Uh, all my channel is about sailing and uh, crossing the oceans and stuff like that. But uh, I just thought it was nice to share um, La Gomera and uh, the beautiful people I met here. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, please like and sub subscribe if you, if you haven't already. And um, uh, anyway. Best wishes from uh, La Gomera, Waxwing out.